video. Hooray! Feel free to skip. But, um, <clears throat> you know, the person that I'm responding to has very poor audio quality. Like, you could barely hear her. And, um, I had to increase the volume to uh, at least an extra four times. Four times. I'm being dead serious. So, let's just poke a little fun at this person. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they tell Meninists. Is anybody else really annoyed by this? That's a rhetorical question. Then why did you ask? Because I know that there are people that are furious by them, and I am one of them. Ah. Another one of those. Hmm. Oh boy. It's hard to even get my thoughts into a coherent stream of words. Then maybe you shouldn't make a video about memonism. Or videos at all because like I said before, I could I could barely hear shit. Because it's so offensive to me that there are men out there that feel the need to take away feminism. How the fuck do you take away feminism? It's a fucking belief, not some sort of chew toy. I mean, what are these people gonna do? Strap you to a chair and forcefully open your eyes to watch the last airbender? I'm, I'm quite curious, how are these people really doing it? But they see feminism as bad. Well, most likely because it is. It is bad. I want to read a quote. It's from a woman named Kristen Page Kirby. Gentlemen, let's play a little game. I call it Creep or Normal Guy. The way you play is you have less than a second to decide whether a man you don't know is a threat or not. If you identify a normal guy as a threat, you get called a bitch. If you identify a creep as a normal guy, you could end up dead. This is fun, isn't it? Now play it every day with nearly every man you see in nearly every situation you're in from the time puberty hits to, well, I turned 38 this week. Can someone tell me when I can stop playing? Now that's the type of person that people like to call paranoid. And you know, I find this to be rather sexist because uh, they, 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 this woman, uh, you know, basically just points out that, you know, we should play this this game when it comes to men but you know we can trust our fellow women because you know women are pure and clean and they are trustworthy automatically because they're women but for the guys you know you gotta be very careful because you know they might be a creep they might backstab you but women don't do that no women never do that shit I can't remember when I first saw that quote but it was fairly recently and I thought it summed up everything that women go through there's a hashtag called not all men. The problem is there are so many men that attack women and, that's, and that see attacking women as okay that we have to be on the offensive. And this is the paranoia shit that I am talking about. People like yourself love to insert fear into other women, making them think that the next person that they meet might be a rapist. These rape statistics has been debunked. Now, <laughs> when it comes to men, we're starting to learn that the next woman that we meet might be a feminist who might be completely paranoid, who might see you as a sexist person automatically. You hold the door, you're sexist. You, you, you um, refuse to, to split the bill, then you are a sexist. Almost anything that you do, you are labeled as a sexist. This is why MGTOW exists. Because they don't want to date paranoid women like yourself. In fact, there's a good chance that you are single. If it wasn't for the fact that Gamergate exists, not your shield exists, women against feminism existed, I would have been MGTOW a long time ago. You know, I, I would have saw... Every fucking woman as this 
supreme paranoid piece of shit that I have to, you know, completely convince them that I am not a rapist. You know, I, that I am automatically dehumanized because of what's between my legs. People like yourself, just, you're not worth it, okay? <laughs> just, you're just not. Because otherwise we could end up seriously hurt, raped, or dead. Feminists like yourself love to dehumanize anyone who isn't a feminist, especially the men. You bully them into committing suicide. And the best part is, you get away with it. Like, at least with the rapists, they don't get away with this. But feminists like yourself get away with this shit all the fucking time. It's the only way to live. I feel uncomfortable when I hear footsteps behind me. I feel uncomfortable when someone walks too close to me. I feel uncomfortable whenever I look myself in the mirror. I feel uncomfortable if I pick up this phone and try to talk to someone. I feel uncomfortable just making this video. There is only one thing that I have to say. Suck it up! I feel uncomfortable when somebody is staring at me, when a man is staring at me when I'm going into a grocery store. But if a woman stares at you, it's completely fine. She just, you know, probably is jealous of your big fat butt. People say things to me, and I didn't ask you for your opinion, and it's not a compliment. Are we really going to go with a catcalling argument again? This is the sort of thing that feminists do to people. They make them fucking paranoid as hell. Hell! Just the, the, the very idea that someone is standing near to you makes you uncomfortable pretty much just shows that you are fucking paranoid as hell that you shouldn't even be on the streets. You should be fucking locked away from, from, from society. I didn't script this video, which you might be able to tell. It wouldn't matter if you did. But I've just been so infuriated by the, by the idea of meninists that... They think that their rights are being infringed upon. If you're talking about the feminist, I mean, not the feminist, the minimus Twitter account, then you are really fucking stupid. Like, how many feminists are actually going to take this uh, minimus movement to be quite serious? Seriously? Have you done any research whatsoever? Which I don't see at all. From all that fat, I'm surprised you can even see at all. But you know what, I, I can name a few, you know, just a few inequalities that men, that men face. Um, you know, men still have to be forcibly signed up for the draft. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, men still have to sp spend at least 40% more prison time than women for the exact same crime. And let's not forget about divorce courts and custody battles, where the man is completely fucked. And also, I will repeat this again, the Menemist Twitter account is to show on how ridiculous the feminist movement has become. They are literally becoming like you, pretending to be like you. <laughs> and you don't even see it. Women wanting equality doesn't take away anything from men. Except that you don't really want equality. I should know because I made plenty of videos about feminism. It just means that everybody is being treated fairly. Unless you're a sister to white man, then you're an evil sack of shit. But you don't really see men and women as equals. You see men as this big fat boogeyman. What is wrong with that? And the thing is, is that I think a lot of people don't even see problems in society that are there. Because the problems that you feminists point out doesn't exist. I saw a video a while ago that was a French film, I think. It was just a short video online and it had it as backwards, as if women were men and men were, were women. And it's little things like men jogging topless down a street. A woman can't do that. 
I agree to a certain degree that women should be allowed to go topless in public. I just love them boobies. Men pissing on the side of a building. A woman can't do that. Because women don't have a penis? It was a very good film and I wish I'm gonna try and find it and if I find it I'm gonna link it down below. I'm calling it a film but it was a video. I feel like a lot of the people who are meninists are younger white men who see the world as their oyster. There's nothing that it can really be taken away from them because they were born to everything. And but now men are being treated like shit because we're men. That's our greatest crime because we are born male and this goes double if you're a cisgender white man you are automatically evil vile disgusting feminists are literally invading everything they you know the, the man change inside in media you know they demand to change covers of artwork despite the fact that they are not even fans of of, of comic books they demand that video games should change into their own vision that they can dictate on which video games that we can and cannot play you know a man spraining his legs in a subway station yeah that's sexism because you're taking up space despite the fact that you have balls you know but you know they're not gonna go after fat people because they take up space too but they're not they're not gonna go after them just men and they cannot possibly comprehend any kind of society where they're on a lower totem. Woman, you're the type of person that would still say that men are on the top of the, of the totem pole and, you know, we be treated as nothing more as sheep, cattle. You know, just be put on a leash and just crawling off all fours. You know, it wouldn't be enough for you. It's infuriating that they think that feminism is a bad thing. That because it is a bad thing. It really fucking is. Seriously, you need to watch some uh, The Amazing Atheist. Just watch either The Amazing Atheist, Thunderfoot, uh, Song of the Cod, Skeptor, um, V. Monroe, uh, Miss Misanthropist, anyone. Please, just do so. Anybody thinks feminism is a bad thing, but especially meninists lately have been getting under my skin and I just wanted to make a quick video just ranting about it a little bit because what is wrong with feminism? You know, I have the feeling that you just came on YouTube, you didn't bother to research why people oppose feminism and when you, when anyone tries to point out the reasons why people oppose feminism, chances are you're gonna cover up your ears and be like, la 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 la, feminism is good, feminism is good, la 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 la. Feminists don't try to take over men. They don't try to bash men down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th those, those feminists, they're not doing any of that shit. We want equality. Now, stop holding doors for women. You're making us women look weak. They don't try to kill all men. There's a hashtag that's literally saying kill all men. And the feminists d defend the hashtag to death. If there was a hashtag entitled kill all women, then the feminists will lose their fucking mind. But, you know, the, the hashtag kill all men, that's completely fine. That's, you know, fine. Or anything, like, insane. What we want is equal treatment. Tell that to Sagan Vakov, Skeptor, and Teal Deer. I dare ya. There are such little things peppering our society that you don't even realize until somebody points it out to you that, that means that women are in, unequal to men. So if I point out the inequalities that men face, are you actually going to c 
consider that maybe feminism is wrong? Every time there's any kind of a sexist ad. What sexist ads? You know, um, half-naked women trying to sell a product? Is that what you're saying? Because, you know, there are half-naked men out there selling a product too. But you know what? It's just, it's just bad if it happens towards a woman. EQUALITY! Every time somebody calls me honey, it's like, why would you call me honey? Well, geez, I don't know. Why would you call me darling? And not a man. It's condescending, and it's upsetting, and why is it necessary? Why can't you call me my name? I'm sorry, sugar tits. Did me saying honey offends? In fact, I'm gonna give you a nickname, okay? How about fat bastard? Because that's what you are. You are a fat bastard. Why do you have to call me honey or sweetie or whatever else? So I know that this was kind of a weird video and I'm not going to go on and on. Yes, because, you know, you might end up mistaking the camera for a cupcake. Because I, do, I don't want this to be a super long thing, but I just had to rant a little bit about meninists and how horrible I think they are. If you actually did a little bit of research, look up anti-feminist videos, you would at least understand why this is happening but instead what you're doing you're pretty much forking down cake down your freaking allow me to explain you are a fat bastard they do nothing they don't add anything to society they're just trying to take away from people they're not trying to take away anything like seriously how can they take away a belief system and I'm not here for that at all. Bye. Of course not. You're not here to bring any logic. No, 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 no. You're just going to look at the cover and say it's evil. That's it. No research whatsoever. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. And darling, go on a fucking diet.